y'all and welcome back to Adventures with Ariel. So I have a confession to make. I'm a crazy cat lady. I have two kitties named Lily and Lexi whom I speak to in a very high pitched crazy cat lady voice. Uh, there's cat stuff all over my apartment which fortunately my husband doesn't seem to mind. But hey, maybe you're a crazy cat lady too and maybe that's why you clicked on this video. If so, you're in good company and you're also in for a treat because today we're talking about the 200 furry felines that roam Disneyland. And I don't mean the Aristocats. So what are they even doing there? Keep watching to find out. Believe it or not, feral cats have called Disneyland home since the park's opening in 1955. It all started when Walt Disney himself brought a team of Imagineers to Sleeping Beauty's castle to begin the planning process of turning it into a walkthrough attraction. They were pretty surprised to find dozens of kitties living inside the building shell. Why? Well, think about it, Disneyland's not such a bad home for a cat. It can feast on scraps of food left by guests, and there's an endless amount of places to hide and hunt rats. They probably thought they had it made, but the living situation was not ideal for Disney, as the cats had brought along an infestation of fleas. The immediate solution was to clean them up and adopt them out to cast members, therefore freeing the castle up for Walt and his team. But little did Walt know that the park would inevitably need the cats more than the cats needed the park. Let me explain. Disneyland would develop a bit of a rodent problem. And Disney only needs so many rodents, am I right? Well, it turns out that there were still plenty of other feral cats on property that hadn't been living in the castle, and they were doing a phenomenal job of eliminating the mice. So Disney just kept them around. It seems crazy, but it actually wasn't such a big deal. The cats weren't bothering guests. Feral cats, by nature, are afraid of humans. And ultimately, they proved to be a much cheaper and more effective solution for pest control than any exterminator. But with that being said, a few changes needed to be made. Feeding stations were set up around the park to give the cats a more well-balanced diet. And all of the felines were spayed and neutered to keep the ever-growing cat population under control. This operation is still in place today, and the current Disneyland cat count is speculated to be 200. Kitties are commonly spotted near the Hungry Bear restaurant and Whitewater Snacks. Clearly, their appetite extends far beyond rodents. Perhaps what is most fascinating about the Disneyland cats is that they were relatively unknown to the general public until 2010, when the Los Angeles Times published an article titled, After Dark, The Dirty Work at Disneyland Begins. It was a fun look at the hardworking efforts of Disneyland cast members, but writer Hugo Martin says that Disney wasn't too thrilled about it. Hugo told Vice, quote, After my article appeared, Disneyland representatives said they got some positive feedback from animals rights groups, but they wished it hadn't gotten so much attention. As for talking to me on the record about this, they had no choice. I was walking around Disneyland at about 2 a.m. when I spotted cats walking around the theme park. Since that article was posted, Disney has drawn praise from animal rights groups and cat lovers alike. They approve of the park's trap neuter return program, as it's a much more humane way of controlling feral populations. The cats really have it made, and it's absolutely amazing that Disney can give them all a home. Disney's cat operation stands in stark contrast to that of Universal Orlando's Lowe's Hotel, which was under fire in 2012 for sending its stray cats to an animal control center. This did not sit well with trap, neuter, return advocates, as most cats sent to shelters are inevitably euthanized. Despite their long history of anonymity, the Disneyland cats have recently cultivated a huge following at the parks and online. Former Mouseketeer Ryan Gosling is partially responsible for the kitty's newfound fame. Most people had never even heard of the Disneyland cats before Ryan talked talked about them on Conan in 2011. There is a belief that Disney has been uh, breeding an army of cats. <laughs> yes, and they're not just ordinary cats. They have a special <laughs> set of skills. Uh-huh. They're like commando cats. Commando cats. <laughs> Today, the cats are park famous and internet famous to a cult group of followers who view and share photos on Instagram, Twitter, and the Cats of Disneyland website. Yes, they even have their own website, and it's pretty darn cute. The about page features a short paragraph detailing the history of the Disneyland cats, told from the cat's perspective, and I particularly find this line amusing. It says, quote, Disneyland is our land, and we try our best to forget it was all started by a mouse. There's another section with cat profiles, once again told from their perspectives, and they've all been given names. In fact, fans are so attached to the Disneyland cats that 76,000 of them signed an online petition in 2015 
after the city of Anaheim passed an ordinance banning the feeding of feral cats. But no worries, city officials quickly clarified that the Disneyland cats weren't at risk of being starved to death because they're on private property. Now, as cute as they may be, Disney doesn't encourage interacting with the cats. For one, they're feral, and it's never smart to pet a cat you don't know. But they also have a very important job to do, as they play an essential role in maintaining the guest experience. And believe it or not, they're not the only animals to do so. Seriously, Disney has employed several cast members that aren't exactly human. For instance, Disney World uses snakes to remove rodents from its premises, chickens to keep the park's mosquitoes at bay, and ladybugs to protect the park's plants from mites, white flies, and other plant-eating insects. Disneyland's feline colony is just one of the many animal operations that work behind the scenes to keep the Disney magic alive. So have you ever spotted a Disneyland cat or any other animal that looked a little out of place in a Disney park? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you learned something new today, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell for new Disney content every single week. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a magical day.